Hi guys, this is Kushbu and welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. In this video, we will see the question Powerful Integers. Given three integers x, y and bounds, return a list of all the powerful integers that have a value less than or equal to bound. An integer is powerful if it can be represented as x raised to i plus y raised to j. For some of the integers wherein i is greater than or equal to 0 and similar with j, you may return the answer in any order. In your answer, each value should occur at most once. For the first example, we are given x is 2, y is 3. So over here, we need to find all the numbers which are less than or equal to 10, wherein you are going to do x raised to i plus y raised to j. That is 2 raised to something plus 3 raised to something. So we start with 0 and we go on increasing this power for x and for y. So we do 2 raised to 0 plus 3 raised to 0 which gives you 2 then 2 raised to 1 plus 3 raised to 0 gives you 3 this gives you 4 then 5 7 9 and 10 if you try to add any other powers of 2 and 3 then you will be going outside the bound and so these are the number that should appear in your result similarly with x equal to 3 and y equal to 5 we get the output as these integers let's see this question more deeply and how we can solve this problem. Taking the same example of x equal to 2 and y equal to 3 and given the bounds as 10. We are now taking the powers so 2 raised to 0, 2 raised to 1, 2, 3 and 4 and over here we can see that these are the values for those powers. Similarly with 3. Now till what point do we continue? We would not be including something that goes beyond the bound for powers. So we cannot consider 2 raised to 4 and 3 raised to 3. So after we have got these values for us, we now need to find the combination of both. So we need to find the addition of 2 raised to 0 with all the values in the y's power, which gives you 2, 4, 10 for 2 raised to 0. And since these are inside the bounds, you will be considering all these three into your result. Secondly, you go to 2 raised to 1 and do the same. So you get 3, 5 and 11. But 11 goes out of the bound, so you would not be considering 11, but only 3 and 5. Similarly, with 2 raised to 2, now you have 5, 7 and 13, but you already have written 5 in the previous iteration. And so, with the rules that result must contain a number only once, we will take 5 only once and not consider this 5 again. So, we add 7 from this iteration. We go to 2 raised to 3 and we will only consider 9 because these are out of bounds again. So that's the result for our given input. So that's the approach that we can follow. One loophole over here is that what if one of these numbers would have been 1. So in that case 1 raised to 0, 1 raised to 1, 1 raised to 2 or even 1 raised to n would give you 1 exactly and that would be lower than your bounds and thus causing a time limit exceeded error. So we need to keep in mind the special case of either of these numbers being one. That is we only consider a single one and do not check for any further power values. Now that we know the edge cases and the approach, let's go and write some code for it. Initially we'll take two lists wherein we'll be storing the powers of x and y. And we'll need two variables that will store the temporary power of x and y. So at the start we are marking it as x and y and as we know that anything raised to 0 is 1 we add 1 in both the list. We do this because we do not want to iterate when my x is equal to 1 or if my y is equal to 1. So now I'll only have the conditions for either x not equal to 1 and y not equal to 1. And if this is not 1, we are going to find out or calculate powers of x until it's less than bounds. And similarly for y. So for this, we will be taking a while loop. And we'll say while my power of x is less than bound I'm going to add it in my list and 
prepare my power of x for next iteration and similarly I will do it for y2. Now that we are done with adding our numbers into these list, we need to iterate over it and put the powerful integers in our list as we want. But as we need distinct integers, we are going to take a set in which we will be adding the powerful integers that we are going to get in each iteration. So that would be our result and I will be iterating over these lists. So for each integer we are going to check if i plus j is less than equal to bound then I need to add that i plus j in my result. So that would give me the answer in my set but my return type is a list so I need to convert it to list. So I will be using java 8 that is stream api so I will do result.stream.collect collectors dot to list and that would convert my set to list and that's all I had to do let's run this and this would be p of y and let's run this and it's giving a perfect result let's try this for our edge case that has one in it and it's still working fine let's submit it so that's it for today guys i hope you like the video and i'll see you in another one so till then keep learning keep coding